Hi guys, Zach here with another Command and Conquer regular video. In this game, I'm playing a quick match on the map Path Beyond. I'm on my account, Jack the Ripper. It's my alternative account I sometimes play. And what I usually do on this account is I will usually play different tactics. Uh, tactics which I probably wouldn't normally use. Um, just to see how they go. And um, yeah, just for fun really, I guess. Um, so what I've done here on the path beyond, instead of going for my normal starting position, I've actually moved to the right. It gives you better access to war. I wouldn't suggest starting like this, it's just I'm doing this for a bit of fun. Anyway, it was more about uh, this match and the reason I've uploaded it. But, um, so what I'm doing first of all is I'm getting my uh, infantry set up just to uh, block any uh, infantry scouts. Now I'm playing Soviets in this game and the enemy is playing allies. Which make which, and it's quite interesting what the uh, enemy actually does in this game. So I've built a few more infantry than I usually would. And now if we look there, what my enemies try to do is he's crawl, he's wet, took his MCB right from his side, and he's took it all the way to my side. He's actually tried to plant it right next to my base. Now that's really weird because Path Beyond is a bigger map. So it takes you so long to get there that the other guys already usually built his um, ore refinery. And the other thing is, he's playing allies and I'm playing Soviets. Now, quite often it's usually Soviets do it to ally players, but he's doing it the other way around, which is uh, quite crazy because uh, I do think Soviets do have the better the better units um, and buildings in order to do this sort of thing. So there I've destroyed his small power plant just so he'll have a much slower building speed. And I mean, you can see I've already got my war factory down now. He's way, way behind. And I'm going to build a ore refinery, an ore truck because I have, to take, I have time and I'm building another ore refinery. So you can see he's got like his base, his construction yard, a power plant with some defences, but, and his defences are in really quite an awkward position actually, I can't actually get to him so I'm going to have to wait till I build some tanks. But you can see at the moment I've got two ore trucks, I've got another ore refinery on the build. My second ore, my, yeah, so my second ore refinery is down, so I've got three ore trucks out and he's got nothing at the moment. So I'm way, way ahead. I mean, it was a very... It's quite funny, because usually, if I'd played my normal way, he'd be in my base. I don't think it would have worked, like, but, um... I mean, he was still got a surprise when he got there, and no one was there. He managed to sneak past my actual whole base. I didn't actually see him until he was the other side of the ore patch, so I'm getting a flamethrower oh. down just uh, yes, so he can't do any infantry rushes or anything like that. Oh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a big power plant Building. and I'm going to build a Tesla coil on that ore patch. Construction get rid of that complete. pillbox, Unit stop the infantry ready. from getting over. Building. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't really see him coming back from this because he's... I mean, the reason you don't see this tactic used, even if it's Soviets on allies, is because the distance is just too far. By the time you actually get there, the other guy's built so much. He also lost his power, small power plant, which hindered him further. He had to build some defences around his construction yard in order to save it. And yeah, I'm just going to use that Tesla coil to destroy that pillbox. He sold it. And... He, I mean, he's taking rocket men to try and fight my Tesla coil, but rocket men don't have that far range. They're not going to outrange a Tesla coil. Construction complete. You can see he's now building some tanks, and I'm just continuing building tanks. I've already got one war factory, but I don't really see the need to build another one at the moment. And I'm just going to cro I'm going to get my next Tesla coil will be in range of the construction yard. Now he's sold his um, base defences around his construction yard, I don't know, I think he might know what I'm going to do next, so he's, um, I think he's going for an attack, so I mean I've got the same number of tanks, heavy, well I've got heavy tanks, he's got medium tanks, I've also got Tesla coil health in it, so it's uh, not really a fair fight, well it is a fair fight, but uh, and he's called me a cheater. I mean, that was a kind of a weird match. I've never, never seen, I've never seen anyone try and do that on this map, especially not an Allies versus Soviets. So that was, that was a new one. That was a uh, different, completely. 
Right, this is on Bullseye. I was playing the same guy. And I thought, screw it, I'm going to not go with the alternative tactics. I'm going to go with my normal game because I really didn't want to lose to this guy. You can see he's opened up the message with you, cheater. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, is that complete. I mean, he's calling someone a cheater when they're not. Is that a compliment? Are you so good they can't... Uh, they can't believe you played. Are you able to play that well without cheating? I don't know. He's a uh, like he, he's ranked in the two hundreds. Um, so he wasn't. I mean, he, he shouldn't be that bad. I didn't expect him to be that ranked that highly, to be honest. From the first match, so I got some quite good points for beating him. Construction complete. Right, um, so yeah, I'm just going with a normal tactic um, with my this ore refinery. I'm going to obviously micromanage my ore truck a little bit just to make some space for my next war factory and my final ore refinery. And what I'm doing, I'm, what's really important to do in this match um, especially was to uh, get my scouting right because I wanted to make sure he wasn't setting up in the corner because you saw I just looked at the, I went straight to that corner just to make sure he wasn't going to set up for an infantry rush. Um, it was just Unit lost. from what I'd seen in the previous uh, match. I wanted to. I know he might be off. trying something, you know, a little bit Unit quirky. Also, you want to check Building. that um, they're not going in the middle. Although I've I have played um, some yes, matches where I've tried going to the middle and building a base there, and to be honest, it hasn't really worked. It doesn't really work that once. well. Yes, sir, and from what I've seen, anyway, I might have not just done it right, but. Um, yeah, from what I've seen, it hasn't really worked uh, in my favour. So I'm just, yeah, I'm doing my normal setup. I'm just, bit, again, I'm just uh, cleaving some of that off my next ore refinery. And there we can place it down. Building. Get my second war factory down. Cancel. So they probably uh, spread them out a bit earlier, but um, Training. there we go. Right, so I've got my Building. second, uh, well, my fourth. This is my fourth ore truck, so I've got four ore trucks now, so I'll be able to build tanks Waiting quite leaders. well. It doesn't look like he's going for a rush. Um, I can see his infantry in the normal positions, um, which means his base is probably in the normal position as well. Building. And you can see he's sending another infantry guy down there, but uh, my base is well Waiting defended, leaders. it's well surrounded. Um, so you won't uh, get that through. Building. And I'm going to crawl with power plants up further up the map now, building. just to get make use of that ore on the other side. Building. Primary building selected. Unit ready. Building. And usually I like to use power plants for this. I know some people use ore silos, but at least with power plants you get something ready. if you want to build a Tesla building. coil later or a radar complete. dome you can do and you have the power there you don't need to build any extra Unit power plants ready. and also if the enemy destroys some power plants you've got plenty spare so that's why I like to use power plants rather than all silos ready. to do that um, On hold. yeah I'm not sure which is faster but um, anyway so I've got some tanks now I'm gonna just bring my tanks over and you can see this is another strange thing he's doing on this map is that he's bringing his ore refine ore trucks to the middle without any protection so he's got tanks he must have tanks in his base but he's just what he's done is he's brought his ore refineries to the middle and that's just like what does he expect i mean does he expect me just to wait there and uh, let him uh, mine that for gems i don't know and he's called me a noob now but it's him who's bringing the ore trucks to the middle not me I mean, it's him who's there. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've got two auto kills there. He's got some gems yet, but I don't, I don't think it's probably not worth it in the long run. And now he's bringing his tanks there, and you can see I'm, I'm winning with him quite a lot. And yeah, he's calling me a cheater again. I don't usually do this, but I've just called him a noob. Uh, he called me that earlier. So that, that was a couple of games. We had a another match on keep off the grass which I won as well and the, after that he just started to quit um, without fighting so I won about five matches complete. so I did my I, I won from about options. I think it was about 180 to 130 or something complete. so it was worked out really options. well for me right thanks Mission for watching